two of Super Crawl 2023 is just about to get underway. Hello, everyone. We're down here at the corner of James Street North and King William. Cable 14 is going to bring you all the action. I'm Mike Fortune along with Val Cole. Val, I've heard nothing but rave reviews about night one last night down here at Super Crawl. I know. It, great crowds. The weather was great. Yep. Um, it's overcast today, but I don't think it's going to be an issue. We got a little bit of rain just coming down, but who's ever watching, you want to come down, don't let that stop you. Come on down anyway. There's no. lots of cover. Hop on the HSR. Don't park anywhere down here because it's a zoo. And uh, just come down and have some fun. Have I mean, some if you food. came down now, you could probably park. You probably could Spend now. Spend the whole day here. And you get some f you get some eats. And all. We're going to get free eats later on in the show. But in the meantime, Val, I think we're going to talk a little fashion. we got to talk about fashion, fashion because one of the great things about Super Crawl, Mike, is that it's uh, it really brings all the artists in our community together. And you can say fashion is art. Yes? By all means. Creativity, yes. All right. We've got a fantastic guest, uh, Ayodel Adifala from ARC Collective. Thank you for joining us thank today. Thank you for having Hello, me Hello, how thank are you? you? Thank you. Good, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me today. Where are you set up here during Super Crawl? So um, for Super Crawl, we are set up on the street. So we have an actual craft booth too as well. And then our actual store is located on 123 James Street North, uh, just right a couple blocks from here. Perfect. Thank Super. You. How long have you had your store open for down here? I've had my store open for about a year and seven months. So so just after COVID, basically. Just after COVID. You decided to call James Street North your new home. Absolutely. How has it been for you so it far? It has been phenomenal. Like, Hamilton is home for me at this point. It's amazing. We opened our doors to the public April 1st, 2022. And we, Hamilton has shown us nothing but love. And it's also nice and refreshing to bring a fresh breath of, like, fashion from a different perspective to the community. Different perspective. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, is what, what's the different perspective? So our collective is a very unique concept. So the concept is it's a collective of um, multiple um, female run businesses, all BIPOC origin, and they all have um, different shelf space in the store. So we sell the products on their behalf so that they can get the exposure that they deserve. So our brand houses over 45 different brands wow. in the store. Wow. So when you're shopping with us, you're shopping some local, some international brands, but you're also shopping from um, small businesses, which is very, small, very, very impactful to the community. So, yeah. And so by you being that outlet, you make a, you put a few bucks in your pocket, but the artist also gets a few bucks as a co-op, correct? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. All right, I, Adele, it's obvious to everyone here <laughs> that I am the one with no fashion sense. <laughs> come Would on you now. Please, I, look at, I mean, come on. <laughs> and uh, it was, ugh. So You'll go see Adele afterwards. She'll <laughs> fix you up. Thank in you. We more. will fix Please. you up. We have <laughs> in-store stylists though. too as well, in-house too as well, part of our collective. Oh. So we have some different um, packages based on what you're looking for as well. So come, some people come, they shop with us They're like, oh, I'm going for an event. We have in-person like consultations where they can book and then come to the store and shop with us. What's Samantha wearing? Samantha is actually wearing one of the brands in my store, which is my brand called Liza and Grace. So I'm very, very proud to um, pretty much announce what she's wearing. It's one of my amazing jumpsuits and it's a beautiful detail with the leopard print. Oh Le wait, Cher. so that's connected. It's connected. Oh, it's on oh, one piece. piece. I oh. am all about fashion, but function, and it I takes it. the guesswork away, right? Yes. So all you have to do is just buy the one piece, put a beautiful pair of earrings, a nice clutch, nice heels, and you're off to go. It's all about the accessories too, right? 100%. 100%. Yeah, good 100%. Stuff. So this is a beautiful jumpsuit, one piece with a beautiful chiffon detailing and velvet um, leopard pattern on it. And it has a beautiful bow that also exposes a little bit of a peekaboo at the back. Oh, so wonderful. So it's a little for air and yep. freshness too as well. So fresh. Because she's so hot right now. <laughs> she is. She looks great. Yes. And we should mention, Samantha, you're a volleyball player also at SJB. So thanks for coming out here and mm -hmm. volunteering your time for this. It, you, you look super. What about maintaining clothes? I always look for that too. Mm -hmm. when, when you purchase something, I want something simple and easy to maintain and clean and hang up, dry, whatever. So that's, this is very easy for that. You can Perfect. just toss it in the washing machine and Perfect. you're good to go and just like a low tumble set setting and you're very good to go. Most of the brands and the clothes in our store are for like the everyday person. You know, there's sometimes you go to some fashion shows and you're wondering what, where would I wear that to, right? But that's the beauty in our collective because there's so much variety. We have active wear from Love Your Fit Apparel. We have Liza and Grace, like what she's wearing for like the everyday modern women. And then we even have men's wear too as well. So we want to bring fashions to people that they can actually wear and support at the same time time. Dino is wearing an amazing jacket. Mm -hmm, Talk to me about this. Well, this is from one of the most amazing brands in our store. I love everyone equally, but I am super fascinated with this brand. It's called Certitude by K and it's all about ethical sustainability in fashion because that's the up and rise now. 
people are shifting their buying decisions to like just not just buying fast fashion but also buying something that they are also making a sustainable impact to the planet so this is what 32 by k shows with this um upcycled denim dark and um, jacket with a batik um, motif for the pattern and it's also layered with a nice uh, linen shirt as you can see with the batik detail on the side too as well so you can dress this casual for work but also for a night out with friends as well yeah, so no, that's looks, what he's wearing and what i love about dino is he can do it at his age he's got like three or four buttons undone <laughs> right so he can just flaunt everything yes yes he does yeah yes, you're looking good dino got, is, is it comfortable what you're in right now <laughs> yeah, He's, he says is, he loves yeah. it. It's it's uh, very comfortable. Good yeah, stuff. and they're also buying something with an impact because the proceeds of the sale, a portion of the proceeds also goes to helping women that are, you know, um, from underprivileged communities as well. So you are buying, looking fashionable, but also giving back. So it's a do-good feeling. And means. you can shop this also at our collective. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Dino, you look fantastic. And also the accessories through you guys as well, or are those his? Um, the accessories you can also find in our store from yeah. Stomer 67, okay. a beautiful, amazing brand also that uses um, semi-precious metals. And um, the bases are usually brass and 92.5 sterling silver, so it's not going to tarnish or anything. But also, the cool thing I love about her rings and accessories is that they are one size fits all, so you just adjust it to whatever you need to be. Perfect. So forget so about ring sizing, it's all available for you to purchase someone like me could walk in and you could put the outfits together for me including the accessories and I walk out and I'm all done yes in our store we sell more than clothing actually we sell um, home goods we have home decor we have clothing we have books we have makeup the outfit I'm wearing head to toe minus my shoes obviously as from our collective down to my earrings we even have um, intimate too as well we have skincare um, so much more so if we want to be the household name and a one-stop shop for people to support shop local and shop small businesses here in Hamilton Ontario on James Street North we got about a minute left before we head out and when it comes to fashion we're all individuals we're all unique we all have a different sense of style mm -hmm. so whatever you want whatever makes you feel comfortable wear basically correct hundred percent um, life is too short I feel to um, hum and ha about some fashion decisions obviously you have to obviously make sure you dress like you want to be addressed but you know um, Fashion and style are two different things, right? Style is your personal style and what you make of it, right? Can we get Samantha back in here and, when, and you stay where you are and we'll just have them looking fabulous in between yes. us while we're talking. 100%. Your Instagram, your handle, what is it? So our Instagram handle, you can find us and follow us at arc underscore collective Hamilton. And then our website is www.arccollective.ca. But you can also shop our store at 123 James Street North. Beautiful. It's the next to National Bank, next to Chocolate and James. Everybody knows where that is. <laughs> so you can find us out today and every other day for, of the week. But also we have a craft booth also for the weekend for Super Crawl as well. Good Amazing stuff. deals in store. We have like these items on sale for 50% off of the Lights and Grace collection. And also 32 by K is having about 30% off. So you can shop amazing deals just this Super Crawl weekend. The Super Crawl discount, Val. The love Super it. Crawl I'm gonna discount. Go, I'm going to get a jumpsuit and you get the jacket. I love it, yeah. Tomorrow's show. Yeah. Sounds like a deal. <laughs> All righty. I think we're, we're going to be eating some food right after this. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> Are we going to do that? Yes. We're going to take a very short break. We'll be back. Val and I are going to be trying out some of the fine food down here. Don't worry, Mark. are back hello everyone uh things are really starting to pick up down here yeah uh, the crowds are starting to form picked up some great fashion tips and now we're going to learn a little bit about the food truck cool jim's here. ice cream i love it jim raftus is here hi jim hi, how are you doing cool jim. Good. Good here you take that you take oh, that you take the yeah. mic. okay we're gonna you're, you're gonna you're gonna chat to us what do we got here my friend so this is the classic banana split and this is probably our most popular Ice cream is a twist, oh, you know, in the yeah. cone, in a, in a cup, but yes. Can I try this one? Of course, Mike, absolutely. Mike, do you mind? Can I take no, dibs on this? By all means, you dig in there. And um, you say this is the most popular. It's simple, but it's popular. It's yeah. a twist, right? You know why? It's, it's, it's classic, right? It's a classic ice cream dish, the twist, and uh, it's affordable. Yeah. It's affordable, right, my man? Sure. Yeah. Oh, um, I love it. 
you're out on Fruitland Road, your, your company. How many trucks you got out on the road? Uh, this year, two. We do have three, but just this year, two are out. And no. what is the draw for Super Crawl for you? Aside from making money, we all want to make money. Uh, it's it's <laughs> our probably it's our busiest festival of the season. You've yeah. been no at doubt. every one, is that right? From the beginning. Yeah. Every Supercross. Yeah, Supercross. from the beginning. I think at the beginning there was maybe four or five of us food trucks, and so now there's like over thirty, right? So let me. How long have you been doing this for, my friend? Almost twenty years. Twenty years now. Um, how often are you sick of ice cream? I just think of it. Are you sick? One week. There you go. My kids will eat it. Of course they will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you can't get sick of ice cream, can you? I don't know. I, I, I certainly couldn't. Do you take this truck through when you're not at a festival? Do you take it through the uh, neighborhoods? You know, we used to, we used to need that truck. That did that, but we've been pretty busy the last few years where we don't have too much time for that. We do what we can. But we're usually at events or festivals or yeah. fairs, things like that. Yeah. Like you're okay. an ice cream cone. All right. Like you're, yeah, like you're licking an ice cream cone. So talk to us about the banana split we've got here. This looks like quite the presentation. So the classic things, uh, butterscotch, chocolate, strawberry. I mean, if somebody wants something different, we can always throw like a pineapple or whatever else they're liking, a cherry, sprinkles, yeah, whatever they like. But we just do it as a classic like that. And if they want something extra, they just let us know. And we keep going back to that word classic. I guess when it comes to ice cream, you can't go wrong with just the, the classics, the banana splits, the twists, the vanilla, the dips. You're right. You're right. Like, I mean, we've got everything on here, waffle cones, all yep. kinds of things. And, and people sometimes just come, I need a vanilla cone. Yeah. And that's all they want is a vanilla cone. There's yeah. even a healthy version. There's a there's a chocolate dipped banana. I like that. So yeah. come on out, Jim. Yeah, we're gonna get Jim out here. I'm gonna take a little bite of this. Val, are you gonna have some? Can you? Uh, well, we got If you don't mind, there's. No, I'll you. start at that end maybe. But I'm curious, I'm Jim. This end. Can you make a banana split with chocolate ice cream? And if so, is it still a classic you banana? You can split? make it with any way they want it. Last really? night I had a few asking me to make it with twist ice cream. See, that oh, would be kind go. of yeah. fun. How yeah. is it, Mike? I've, I've never had ice cream at 11. I know, I know. <laughs> it's breakfast time, but... But it is fantastic. Thank you. There's just that great sweetness mm. to it. It's not overpowering. Listen to me. I'm sounding like I'm a food critic. I'm not. I know nothing. But it's I love how the flavors really blend together. It really comes... The banana really pulls it all together. Yeah, exactly, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what, what can you expect? Uh, you know, we, we got a day here. Hopefully the rain holds off. Yeah. You, how, how many people would you say comes through your truck in a day here at an event I like this? I couldn't even tell you. I mean, we had a Hundreds. lineup. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we had a lineup to the sidewalk pretty much all night last night. I left here at almost midnight, and I could have probably still kept going, but a few here and a few there were like, yeah, we're done for the night. Let's recuperate. Is your is one arm stronger than the other? From, <laughs> no uh, kidding, eh? You know what? Sometimes this hand is swollen from, you know, pulling that lever all night. No, my wife's with me all the time. She does the window, and I do all the ice cream. Oh, she takes the money. Uh, you do sure, all of the course, Like a regular woman, right? Taking all the money. Hey, which <laughs> they deserve. <laughs> which they deserve, so they keep it all straight. Because you're so popular, you're going to have a lineup, you say. So if someone comes by and says, oh, that line's too long, what would you tell them? You know what? We, I know it. Uh, I would probably be the same way when you see a huge lineup, but we do, because there's two of us in there, we do chuck them out pretty quick. Moves fast. Stay in so, line yeah. and be patient. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Have your money ready. True. And or your you, cart these days, right? Or your right? cart. Yeah. So you do interact, we do. debit, all that. We do. But cash is king. It's nice that you just throw the cash and simple. Whatever they want to do, right? we can do. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff, my man. Yeah. Thank you. All these years here, what are some of the things and changes you've seen? Or are you just so focused on your truck? You know what? The way they've improved this from what's been 15 years now yep. it's incredible from what how i saw we were like down by the when we first started right. and now it's like the whole streets and and the, the, two, the all the stages more vendors it just it keeps getting better and better well jim we thank you so much for the for the treats absolutely i know they're starting to melt and everything but that's all right that's yeah. uh, our fault for if not you eating want, if you want to follow jim there it is i don't know if travis can get that twitter feed right there i guess it's x now Cool Jim's ICT. Follow him on social. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you us for today. having me very much. Thanks I wish so you a good right. super crawl. Appreciate Thank you, you very much. And we'll be right back with more cool stuff. I'm going to eat some more ice cream. Man. Yes. <laughs> All right. We are back, and there you see it, green machine smoothies, and we should also say so much more. We've gone from ice cream, 
We're going to get a little healthy food into us now, right, Val? It's classic, right? You eat dessert first. It, well, you got to yeah, enjoy eat life. All, eat all the, the fried foods and the sweets first. <laughs> and you cleanse the system. That's right. Mike Saratio, this is here, uh, green food truck. Um, you've got a couple of smoothies, but you're more than smoothies. Talk to us about your menu. Uh, I started off with uh, focusing on doing smoothies out of the food truck. Uh, this is our seventh year doing it. And uh, the smoothies was just a, a way to kind of get into the food truck industry, provide a healthier option, uh, you know, compared to traditional food trucks. There's a lot of fried food. I'm not, I'm not hitting on the fried food. I love to get a, you know, cheesecake, uh, some French fries, some hot dogs and that. But... Uh, yeah, we found that there was a little niche market for a healthy truck, and uh, I have a lot of experience with uh, making smoothies. And uh, so, yeah, I have a couple of them here for you today. What do we got here? Uh, so we have, um, so this is made with almond milk. So this one's for you. Oh, thank mango, you. Mango, pineapple. And then this one's made with oat milk, and this is the mango strawberry. Beautiful. Thank you, my man. Uh, um, and, and so what, what with the different types of milk, what does that do texture-wise, flavor-wise? So we add the oat milk or the almond milk just to make it more of like a, almost like a milkshake texture. Mm -hmm. So it's not, it, it kind of reduces the sweetness a little bit. It's not like uh, overpoweringly sweet with like syrups and stuff like that. It, this really lets the mango shine. Yeah. yeah. It cleanses the palate. It's almost like a sorbet almost. And you don't get meal. that sickly, uh, that sickly sweet that you no. get from those chain yeah. smoothies, right? Yeah. A lot of those are done with syrups. Yeah. So it's you can taste it's really artificial, but we put whole frozen fruit in there. So um, you know it's it's a bit costs a bit more to make, and but it, the quality is there. And it's like if you want to get something healthy, then you may as well do it do it right. Do it right. You got to pay for it. And, and as a food truck extraordinaire, are you always kind of tinkering with your menu a little bit? Oh, we're going to try this today or this weekend, whatever the case might be. Yeah. So we we usually go with the the, the same menu items. Okay. Um, we found these fruit combinations work really well, like uh, the strawberry banana is a classic, uh, but the mango pineapple is my favorite. Um, honestly, I love mango anything. Mm -hmm. sure. So we were just saying, hey, let's put mango with this other fruit. All right, that's working. And uh, we brought back for this weekend, we brought back the uh, Monkey's Paradise here. Okay. Let me and, guess, uh, chocolate and peanut butter. Or, or chocolate and banana? Not chocolate peanut butter. Maybe, maybe next time. But with? chocolate, chocolate banana. Ah. Chocolate so banana. it's chocolate banana, but also with coconut and a little bit of pineapple. So okay. it's a little funky. My wife's going to be down here in about four hours. First thing she's going to get. Have one ready for her. Awesome. 100%. 100%. Mike, Mike the yes. food truck's exciting. No, no, this, this Mike. But this is also exciting. Oh, yeah, us. Tell us about this. Yeah, so we, um, we were fortunate enough to find a little uh, takeout spot on uh, Concession Street. Uh, people familiar with Concession, uh, it's uh, just across from Juravinsky, and it's the old uh, Johnny Blonde uh, oh, yeah. takeout. Sure. So Johnny uh, has been really been focusing on uh, wedding catering. He's been doing great with that, and uh, he was kind enough to let us sublet uh, his space. And uh, the takeout's going to allow us to kind of do, make it into a year-round business. Of course. And uh, we actually do a lot of uh, soup in the fall and the winter. Oh. So we move away from the cold drinks, and then we get into soup and chili. So I think that that's going to be an opportunity for us to... You're talking my language. I don't know about you, Val. When the fall, winter hits, I love my soup. Soup and chili. Uh, Can't go and wrong. Are you the, are you the uh, master of putting the ingredients together? And putting yeah. Them, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I mean, when I started, I had to learn a lot from my mom in the kitchen. You know, she, secret recipes. she showed me the way, and now I'm just kind of, kind of taking, taking the reins and going from there. But yeah, yeah. we're really excited. I think uh, end of September, early October, uh, it'll be ready. Um, but we do home delivery um, as well for uh, frozen soups. Okay. Oh, right. So you yeah. can have them in your freezer. Don't oh feel like gosh. cooking. Yeah. Heat it up in the in the microwave or on the stove real quick, and good to go. Has there ever been a menu item that you just couldn't? seemed to sell and it broke your heart because you <laughs> loved it uh, I would say oh, that's a good question I would say maybe uh, oh I did one uh, the first year I started when I was really just figuring things out and throwing stuff together there's one that I made and it was a I thought it was good but it was a bit out there but it was like chocolate cherry and like almond butter and people were not feeling it, but <laughs> it's called trial run. Yeah, and those are okay it, to have. Exactly, by yeah, all means. Yeah. Of course, you're on all the the social media platforms. Just just Google Green uh, Green Machine Smoothies. You're a Hamilton boy yourself. You've been coming to Super Crawl for a while now. You see the excitement. Last night was busy for you. 
What does something like this do for you, your business, and just being part of this community? It's a lot of fun. Um, we look forward to this event every single year. Uh, the event organizers do a fantastic job of, uh, of putting everything together. Uh, it's always really well organized. It's always a, a big crowd that comes down here. Hamilton really comes out for these events uh, because Ham Hamiltonians want to come out and support local vendors. They love live music. You know, it's the same at Festival of Friends as well at Gage yep. Park. But uh, we always have a lot of fun. And, uh, and, and it's kind of like an unofficial end of summer event where it's, it's kind of like we're back to school this week, this past week, and it's kind of like one yep. last hurrah, you know. Yep. Or, or as Val was said to, to me yesterday, let's put a spin on it, it's the beginning of fall as opposed yes. to the end of summer. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that transition event, yeah. right? So yep. it's like everybody gets out, you know, even though it's a little bit cooler this weekend, people want to come out, walk around for a couple hours with the family, and I think it's just, it's a nice, nice transition event before things kind of get back into the swing of school year, you know? By all means. These smoothies are holding their own. They're not separating. Nope. It's the beautiful sip. How many beginning times have you had a smoothie where, where the seeds all go right down to the bottom and you're doing whatever you, this is perfectly blended. Thank you. Thank you. Well, the, the secret, and I'll, I'll, I'll give the people oh, at home a little, a little secret tip here. But if you do frozen fruit and you don't add ice, then it won't separate like that. Because if okay. you load it up with ice, then it turns into water, it floats at the top. Ah, so there you go. We learned something today as well. <laughs> Perfect stuff. Love it. Awesome. Uh, this has been great. I'm feeling refreshed, ready to go for the day. What's next for you after uh, Supercrawl? So this is our last big event of the summer. Um, we, we try to do a handful of them in Hamilton, maybe a couple out of town, but uh, this is our last big one for the, for the food truck season. And so then to you're going to concentrate on your team. And then, yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close, and a lot of people are coming by and asking, and I'm, I keep saying, you know, we're almost there, we're almost there, but uh, just have a little bit of decorating to do in the customer area. Uh, just some minor little tinkering in the in the kitchen, some organizing, and uh, yeah, uh, next week I'm gonna really get cracking on getting that ready. Congratulations! That's fantastic. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Very excited. Anytime uh, an entrepreneur comes out, you, you put a lot out on the line. I don't think people understand what it takes to start. Uh, put a business together, the bricks and mortar. It's a lot. So, For sure. and, then, and then you got the the mobile unit too, right? Yeah, yeah, and it, it, the timing is everything as well. Of course. Um, we were looking at possibly opening a, a bricks and mortar um, just before COVID started. Oh. And that would have you know, been a big, big trouble. So that happened and we said, you know what, let's wait it out, focus on the truck and just kind of wait until things kind of simmer down. Yeah. And then now the opportunity came up where like I said, uh, Johnny Blonde was nice enough to let us take his spot and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Mike, Mike Saratiotis yeah. from the Green Food, uh, Green Machine Food Truck. Thank you so much for joining us yeah, today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Really appreciate it. We know you got to do some more prepping, Val. We, we got our show is done as well. You can really start to smell all the different flavors of food. All the trucks are getting going and all that. Uh, Val and I, we are here down at Super Crawl all day, hosting the TD Canada Trust main stage. Come on down, say hi, take a tour of the Cable 14 Mobile. Yeah. Have lots of fun at Super Crawl. Have right? a great time. We'll see you down here. Thanks again. Bye.